In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to properly measure DC current on a multimeter so you don't accidentally blow a fuse or even worse, destroy your multimeter. First of all, make sure your multimeter can measure DC current. After that, make sure your multimeter is properly fused so you don't destroy your multimeter. Then, connect the black lead to the port labeled COM. You almost never change this lead. The positive lead is a little bit trickier. If you plug it in the wrong ports, you can accidentally burn a fuse. If that is the case, just replace the fuse of your multimeter and you're good to go. If you're measuring current, plug the red lead into the port labeled 10A. If you're only measuring voltage, resistance, etc., plug it into the port labeled B. In this case, we're measuring current, so plug the red lead into the port labeled 10A. Now, remember that measuring voltage and current is a bit different. Unlike measuring voltage, when you measure current, you cannot connect the leads directly to the power source. This will cause a short circuit and will most likely blow your fuse if you have a current more than 10 amps. Instead, you need to plug in your multimeter as if it's part of the circuit. For example, I want to know how many amps this blue strip LED uses. I will plug in a positive lead normally to the power source, which in this case is a 9V battery. I will then connect the negative lead to the LED strip. Here's a diagram if this is a bit confusing. It will then tell me the current the LED strip is using, and if the current measured is less than 200 milliamp, then you can plug the positive lead into the port labeled MA 200 milliamps max. And that is it. Have fun measuring DC current.